Okay, and uh, talk about that relationship with your brothers. Yeah. And how it's transformed because you talked about the documentary. Yeah. You were kicked in the head at three. Yeah. <laughs> What's happening these days? Yeah. Uh, you know, my parents uh, always told us if you ever want to disappoint us as parents, don't get along with your brothers. It's your one way to really let us down. So we've always remembered that. Not saying we didn't fight or argue like any siblings do. We always had each other's backs growing up and still do today. Cooper, uh, two years older than me. Uh, Eli's five years uh, younger than me. Cooper taught me a lot, beat up on me. I felt I needed to do those same things. <laughs> uh, we were big kids. Cooper was 12 pounds, three ounces at birth. I was 12 one. Eli was only 10 pounds. We thought something was wrong there. <laughs> Parents were always including us in activities. We got to go to Saturday morning uh, practices, you know, when the kids were allowed to kind of go to an NFL practice. It was a fun way to grow up. Um, you know, I think people have this perception that my father was on a mission to kind of raise quarterbacks. Uh, I think he really just tried to raise kids, and maybe that's why it ended up happening. It wasn't some master plan by any means. I really felt like it was a normal childhood growing up in New Orleans, not too far from where Brian uh, is from. Cooper uh, was a wide receiver. Uh, probably the most enjoyable year I ever had playing football. I was a sophomore in high school. I was a starting quarterback on the high school team, but he was a wide receiver. I completed 120 passes that year. I threw 90 of them to my brother. <laughs> <laughs> All those years of playing in the backyard or playing on the Superdome turf after Saints games, we finally got to play on a real team together, and it was really fun. He goes to Ole Miss on football scholarship, has a neck injury, and has to give up his career. The faith and the grace and the attitude with which he handled that adversity just has a tremendous impact on me when I went through my injuries. He had an incredibly positive attitude. He was disappointed he couldn't play football. He wrote me a letter and kind of said, Peyton, I want to live my dream of playing football through you. So I learned never to take a practice or a game for granted and I always kept that with me. Couldn't play football, he's been very successful in business, got a great family, uh, became kind of a social legend at Ole Miss, if that makes sense to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> kind of still made his mark there. Uh, <laughs> Eli, being five years younger, we never played against each other, never played on the same team, too big of an age, but Eli was always getting dragged to my games by my parents. Eli and I really got closer when he got into high school, playing quarterback on the high school team. I was at Tennessee, and I'd come back home and kind of share with him some new things I learned about playing quarterback. And then I'd get to the Colts that Eli was playing at Ole Miss. We spend time together, working out together. But our relationship really got closer, Brian. And then for so many years, we were in the same business, right? It's nice to have a sibling in the same business. And we'd work out together, we'd share common uh, opponent game plans. If we were playing uh, Dallas and, and he had already played the Cowboys, and he would give us his notes and we'd work out together. So it was, it was a great, it was a great way. I, I played, um, I just been super proud of Eli, the way he's handled himself in New York, uh, all the scrutiny and, and pressure he's faced. Uh, we played against each other three times in the regular season, and I gotta admit, we really didn't enjoy it that much because you pull so hard for your brother, you want to win for your team, and it really is a tough spot. It's tough on my parents. I can't imagine two years ago when the Kelsey family had to go through having a kid on each side of a Super Bowl team. I've been on both sides of that game. It is as exciting as it is as you would think it'd be to win. It is as disappointing as you would think it would be not to win, and to have to have one son experience both, uh, not fair. So it was just in the regular season. I will say all three games, Brian, just a coincidence, we were lined up right across from each other singing the national anthem in all three games on the same yard line. And you do kind of take a moment and say, now that's pretty cool. That's my little brother over there. We're playing in front of all these people here in New York. And uh, you know, we ended up winning all three times. 